All right, back in the basement again today for a really quick video and an update on this series, which I think I called Building the Bar. It's been a long time since I've done a video in this particular series. That's because this series is dead and this barbell project is likely dead as well. Now, if you didn't watch the other videos, which I'll probably link if I remember to do that during editing, somewhere on the screen or in the description box, let me fill you in a little bit. Company approached me and said, hey, Brandon, would you like to help us design a power bar for your audience? We'll take care of everything. You just tell us what you want and we'll put it together. I said, that sounds interesting to me, let's do it. And I've chronicled that process through this video series from selecting the diameter and why I did it to where the center neural is, how long it is. Did I just say where the center neural is? It's in the center, but how long it is. Everything from the bar to the sleeve length, the loadable sleeve length, how thick the collars are, the finish type, whatever the case may be, we went through it in the videos. As part of that, this bar that I have here, which is the second prototype, is very different from what was initially imagined. Number one, the bar was supposed to be stainless steel. There was a price increase in materials where the barbell would have retailed for over $500, when at the time of planning, I think we were aiming for like a $350 to $375 price range which to me is also already a big commitment for a lot of people, especially when you add to the fact that the company that would be producing this isn't really known for top of the line equipment. They're more budget friendly brand. So having a $500 barbell from them, I thought would be a tough sell to a lot of people. Not to mention the fact that again, with the prototypes that I've gotten, they've been a little bit all over the place and a little inconsistent which is a problem with going overseas. Because again, you tell people what you want, you get it back and it takes a while because it comes over on a big shipping container, you open it up and it's not always what you imagine it to be. And that's been the case with the prototypes. So the first prototype, the knurling was really passive. The length of the bar was also off. So there was too much space between the collars because we had a little bit of a communication issue between metric and imperial. Um, and the sleeve spun way too much for a power bar. So. We went in and told them exactly what we wanted. They came back with a new prototype, which is this one. The knurling is better on this version, but again, it's not to what we agreed upon from the knurling samples they sent us. And they came back and said, oh, we can't do that anymore, which is really weird because you've done it once. Why can't you do it again? And in this case, while the measurements of the bar are correct, the sleeves spin even more freely than the previous bar. Case in point. I'm just gonna stop it there because as you can tell, a power bar should not do that. In fact, when you're benching or squatting or even deadlifting in some instances with this bar, because they're more slower static movements, you can actually find that the sleeves start to rotate mid lift, which is really off putting, especially for something like bench because it really messes with my wrists. So because everything's been so inconsistent up to this point, and the pricing and the changes we've had to make, it just doesn't make sense for me to continue with this and the company behind it also agrees. Basically came to the agreement that, hey, this isn't something that we can put together where we're both in agreement. Let's just shelve the project probably indefinitely. Now I'm not gonna rule out ever consulting on bars in the future because truth be told, there's probably like three other companies that I've been consulting with and giving feedback on prototype type bars, which should be out in 2023. But this one was more kind of everything specifically to my spec versus someone sends me a bar, asks my feedback and changes things based off of my recommendation. So it's a little bit disappointing in that regard, but again, I'm glad I went through it because I can see how frustrating it is for people who go overseas. So ideally, I think if I do a barbell in the future, which I'm hopeful to do at some point, that would be something really cool, a good project to work with. I'm hoping that they have more control on the back end overseas or even more hopefully, hopefully it's in the United States. Now there are manufacturers out there right now that will make me a bar and put my end cap and logo on it and all that stuff. The problem is, for me at least, is a lot of those companies are more white labeling, Build-A-Bear type. And what I mean by that is they have a selection of things like a menu that you choose from of everything kind of pre-configured already. They have certain flavors that are available and you have to kind of order from the menu. So there are chances that one company could come out with a barbell and sell it as their own which another company who also went through that white labeling company also so happened to make the exact same bar and just stick their label on it. So you do see that in the market and I'm not knocking that necessarily, but I just don't see a reason to pursue that for me because probably someone has already done it. So this project is officially dead. This bar is going to a buddy of mine. So it pays to be my friend in real life because I have to discard of some of this equipment somehow. So the few friends I have in real life who live locally who lift, they reap the benefits of this. But if you have any questions on this process or anything you'd like to see or even suggestions, 
If you know someone who makes American-made barbells and can make them to spec and we're late and straight and working with a guy in the basement, let me know. But in the meantime, as always, thanks for watching and stay big. I could be here a while. This was a bad decision.